today's Sinister Sunday is going to be a little different. We're going to do a legend, the legend of Polybus. During the 1980s, youthful gamers flocked to the arcades with quarters in hand to play legendary games like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. But in Portland, Oregon, amongst those colorful cabinets, in a black cabinet laid Polybus. The video game was apparently so dangerous it made players sick and government agents used it to control minds. However, the game's biggest mystery is whether or not it existed in the first place. Polybus is allegedly an arcade game that occupied the soda-stained rugs of Portland, Oregon arcades in 1981. Dressed in an unmarked black cabinet, it attracted players through its colorful gameplay of geometric patterns and shapes dancing across the screen. The legend goes that upon pressing start, unsuspecting gamers quickly become addicted, falling into a trance-like state that triggered memory loss, seizures, blackouts, and hallucinations. The Polybus arcade game shares a name with a Greek philosopher. This philosopher is known for creating the Polybus Square. This device functioned as an encryption tablet that would convert Greek letters into numbers to share secret messages. His name, Polybus, also translates to many lives in Greek. When players fall under the spell of Polybus, the gameplay seemed to deliver subliminal messages to them. Combined with reports of government workers in black suits removing not quarters, but data from the arcade machine, surely something sinister was afoot. Eventually, these same workers removed the game from the arcades one month later, with Polybus never returning to any establishment ever again. Despite its apparent haunting of the 1980s arcades, the first public records of Polybus surfaced on February 2000 on coinopt.org, a database for arcade games. It showed the Polybus start screen, but it lacked any significant detail apart from the game's title in large letters and the year 1981 and Sinister Clock, Inc., the latter text is the supported copyright data and game developer, but neither seemed to check out. There was no copyright ever filed for the game at the time, to the point that the FBI had to confirm it never existed in the first place. However, Sinnerschlag also means mind erasing in German, at least according to Google Translate. As for the soulless black cabinets used for Polybus, black cabinets were utilized as test machines for new games. The artwork was not applied until the arcade cabinets were ready for worldwide release. Around this time, in Portland, Oregon, the newspaper outlined a story of Brian Monroe, a 12-year-old, who experienced stomach pains. He was playing asteroids for 28 hours straight. There was another report the same day of a 14-year-old, Michael Lopez, suffering from migraines and threw up in the parking lot after a long session of Temptress. Tempest has graphics in line with Polybus rumored pixels that could have been confused for the cursed Polybus cabinet. What about the government agents? Well, law enforcement would put cameras and wiretaps inside arcade machines hoping the criminals will spill beans between their rounds of gaming. Despite debates on its existence, Polybus has appeared in many TV shows. It also inspired two real video games with the same name. So, did Polybus exist? Well, I guess we'll never know, especially if our minds were erased. Well, that's it for this Sinister Sunday. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next adventure.